Hey you guys, it's Vanessa. I'm back again. Who knows what happened there? Facebook decided to kick me off, but I'm back. <laughs> that was a great conversation. Hope you guys are going to come tune back in here and ask me anything. What questions do you guys have for me here about growing your coaching business, about sales and marketing, about overcoming limiting beliefs, about charging what you're worth, about finding the clarity to um, you know, get crystal clear on your program. Let me know here, type it in the chat box. And I was just on with a bunch of people and I love Facebook, I love technology and it booted me out, so I'm back. <laughs> We're having some great questions here from people about you know, what is your 10K and 30 day program like? How much support do we get with you? And I'm gonna, oh, there it is. Angela says, I was there and I guess I just wrote my first book about my backstory with some coaching in there. I used affirmations and writing in my journal and got past it. Um, Alisa says, do you have to have coaching certifications to qualify as a coach? Okay, great, these are great questions. So. Um, you know, the answer is no. Here, here's why. You know, here's why. Think about this for a moment. <clears throat> hey, Brenda's back. Hey, what's up, Elizabeth? Yeah, let me know if you guys are joining me. That live stream just kind of cut out here. But um, I think coaching and consulting is such an amazing business model because you can take your experience, package it up, and start helping people today. So think about it this way. If you have experience raising kids, if you have experience um, losing weight, if you have experience decorating homes, what's up, Elisa's back, Lou's back, welcome back, I don't know what happened guys, but you, you don't need a coaching certification in order to start offering your services, okay? Um, you might call yourself a mentor instead of a coach. So the difference between a mentor and a coach is a mentor is going to show you what to do, tell you what to do. A coach is going to ask you questions so you come to your own truth about what to do. A mentor is just going to tell you what to do. So you can call yourself a mentor or a consultant and share your knowledge and expertise and wisdom with people. You need to package it properly. You need to market it properly. You need to price it properly. But you can get started today. That's the best news. Um, I suggest that, you know, if you want to become a highly paid coach or consultant, you should have some form body of knowledge, <clears throat> you know, but a lot of you guys have been taking courses left, right, and center. A lot of you have been reading books for years. A lot of you have your own innate wisdom. So think about something, think about somebody like a doctor, for example, that's been, oh, he just graduated med school. Oh, he just graduated med school. Oh, he's a great doctor. He's got a certification. Yeah, would you wanna get, you got a bullet hole, a bullet wound in your arm. Do you wanna go and get taken care of by this person who just graduated you know, med school and has a certificate? Or would you rather the guy who's been working in Bosnia, who's been sewing people up in the trenches for the last 20 years? I take the guy in Bosnia, the guy with the experience. Hey, what's up, Michelle? So, we're really talking about how to take your experience and package it and promote it online. That's what we help you do here at Take Your Power Back Now in our 10K and 30 day program. And I'm gonna drop the link for you guys here if you're joining us. If you haven't applied yet to uh, work with me and my team, what are you waiting for? I'll tell you right now that coaching is a coaching, consulting, mentoring you know, industry. Let's call it coaching, consulting, mentoring. It's all the same thing. It's booming. It's a 30, 50 billion dollar industry. And every single month, people join our program. Some of them are still in their jobs. Some of them have been trying to get this freaking online business thing to work for years and they're tired. They've been, you know, hiring all kinds of, working on all kinds of programs that uh, over deliver and uh, over promise and under deliver. And then they take our eight-week boot camp, and in eight weeks, they get some pretty outstanding freaking results. I mean, uh, I'll show you some of them here in just a moment. But let me make sure I drop the link here. Takeyourpowerbacknow.com forward slash 10k ready is where to apply. 
a free con a free consultation call. A member of our team will get on the phone with you and uh, find out if you're really serious about making this a full-time income. And if you are, we'll invite you to become one of our clients in our 10K and 30-day program or a bikini business coach program, which is uh, a little bit more uh, for more advanced uh, business owners. Brenda says, here's a question. How do you know which venue to being a coach, whether it's on love, business, health. Exactly. So we, sh we, we teach you in, in the 10K and 30 day program how to get clear about that. But there's actually 10 things that people buy. Hey, what's up, Cindy? Uh, Cindy actually just sent me pictures to her new home. I think that was your new home. Beautiful picture. So, uh, so love seeing you here today, Cindy. And uh, congrats on your new home. Cindy came with me to Hawaii once to do some work and uh, I think her business is b -b booming. But um, maybe I'll let you guys, maybe I'll let her fill you guys in on that. So you need to get really clear on an audience and a niche. Absolutely. There are only 10 things that people actually buy. And inside our program, we help you get super clear on who you are, what audience, you serve and actually what problems that you solve for profit. That's really, really important. A lot of new coaches, they're like, oh, I do this, I do that, I work with everybody. And you have this like spray it kind of marketing. It's kind of like, I'll work with everybody. And then your marketing becomes really diluted and it doesn't really work. And you don't actually enjoy working with the clients that you have. I did that in the beginning. In the beginning, I was like, I'm a brand new coach, I'll just work with everybody. And I remember I had this guy and he was like so cheap. My mark, I think my coaching was like $300 and he had like three hours of coaching with me. This is like 12 years ago. And uh, I realized I didn't wanna work with men, number one, and number two, people that weren't spiritual because I'm a very spiritual person. And um, I was like, I was fighting, pulling teeth with this guy, trying to get him to open up to spirituality and I just re realized when that when I let that client go I said I'll never work with people who are not spiritual ever again I'll never have to argue with people about what I believe in uh, for money ever again so part of having great marketing is understanding your target audience who you serve what problems you solve for profit and also how to reach them and we teach you how to do that inside our 10k and 30 day program if you want to find out more about, uh, about the program you should just search 10k and 30 day program.com what other these are great questions you guys what other questions do you have for me about marketing and sales growing your online coaching business getting clarity I'm here to answer them uh, here today with you I love answering questions uh, Brenda's got a question about you know getting clarity that's that really prevents you from getting started right while you're doubting yourself and is this a good name and I mean, you would not believe how many questions I answer a week about what do I call my program? What do I call myself? What's inside my program? What do I charge? Is it too much? Oh, like this, the clarity about that is really, really um, a foundational piece that we cover. It's actually covered in module two, week number two uh, in our program. And uh, we can help you with that. What's up, Lisa's in the house. Lisa came to our live event. Did you guys have fun at our live event? Oh my God, they're coming out with like all the video clips and oh my God, it was so much fun. You have ne I have never had so much fun in my entire freaking life. I was so afraid to do this live event. I resisted it for years. I was like, oh, it's gonna be too expensive. Oh my God, oh, I had all kinds of resistance. And when it finally happened, I was like, give me that microphone, get in my way. <laughs> this, give me this microphone, this is my stage. Oh my God, did we have a good time? So get ready, mark your calendars. We're having another one in October, October 4th, 5th, and 6th. I hope you guys are going to join us. Lisa says, so fab. Wasn't it fabulous? Cindy, mark your calendar. We have the, we have the, the event date, we just don't have the, the location yet. It's October 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. October 4th, 5th, and 6th in San Diego. So mark your calendars. Just make sure that you're gonna be there. You are not gonna wanna miss this. Um, we had you know, our Facebook ad strategist speaking on stage, teaching you what works right now for Facebook advertising. I was on stage talking about marketing. Uh, we had Lisa talking about intuition. Kimberly was there, uh, our head mindset mentor, talking about how to find strength in your pain and how to use that in your marketing. I mean, 
Wow. Who else was on stage? Who did I miss? Courtney was talking about sales. We had a freaking amazing time. And one of the things that we did that worked really, really well is we had like people that were not our clients and we had a bunch of our clients there. So for our like more advanced clients, we took them and they had their own private breakout room where they got to work in a smaller group on some more specific things like YouTube advertising, you know, sales. Um, pfft, was amazing. And we danced our freaking pants off. Did we have a good time? It's not all about freaking marketing, you guys. It's really not. Okay, answer questions. What questions do you guys have for me? Mia's got a question. Please type your question in here below. Would you recommend your Facebook ad to go to a Facebook group or to a webinar to collect email addresses? This is a great question. Uh, Mia, it depends on where you're at as an online marketer. So it's kind of like, when do you know how to drive a bicycle? Do you know how to drive a motorcycle? You know what I mean? If you've never ridden a bike yet, first I'm gonna put you on a, tri a tricycle and a, and a little bike with training wheels. You know, that's like a $5 a day Facebook ad to a group. And then I'm gonna teach you how to go down the street and be like, look ma, no hands, right? Remember when you were like a teenager, you're like, yeah. And then I'm gonna teach you how to get on like a moped and then later on, then, then, you know, get onto a Harley Davidson, which would be uh, a webinar. I actually think that a lot, of, um, a lot of the gurus out there that are teaching you to do webinars are actually doing more harm than good because um, there's a lot of moving pieces with webinars. First of all, if you don't know who you are, what problems you solve for profit, who your, who your clients are, where to find them. Uh, if you don't believe in yourself, if you can't charge $3,000 or $5,000 to, you know, to have a client, if you don't know how to have sales conversations, you should not be doing webinars because most likely um, you're gonna right away struggle with all kinds of your own limitations about can I do this, who am I, the Tony Robbins syndrome, I'm on Tony Robbins, how can I charge that much, who am I doing, oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. And now you're gonna buy all this like webinar software and it's just gonna do nothing for you. We've got a lot, a lot of clients who have hit that wall and are bleeding and they come and hire us and now they're making sales. I'm gonna show you guys something. Here's, just to give you an example, I'm gonna show you right now, look at this. Um, here, I'm just gonna show you this. I just posted this because this was a post from a client from yesterday. Uh, halfway through the month, 21,000 in sales so far. You can see here, she's in our Skyrocket Your Confidence and Cash. That's our year-long program. Imagine, how would you guys, what would you guys do with $21,000 in sales halfway through the month of April? What would you do? Type in the chat box. What would you do with $21,000? I wanna know, would you go on vacation? Would you pay off some debt, retire your husband, go on a trip, remodel the kitchen, buy some clothes? Where would you go on a trip, right? Type in the chat, what would you do with $21,000, okay? Uh, this was one of our clients who, again, she had she actually, her marketing had not really worked. She'd done a bunch of courses. She was thinking of throwing in the towel and she joined our program and really knocked it out of the park. And she goes, by the way, Kauai changed my life. So she came to our uh, Soul Sister Mastermind that we recently had in Hawaii, it was amazing. So um, the answer to that question is both, Mia. So $5 a day ad to a Facebook group is really good. Webinars are really good, but you have to, be, you have to, you have to make sure that you're not gonna kill yourself if you do a webinar, do you know what I mean? It has to be at the right time. That's what, uh, that's what my answer is. Might not sound very sexy, but that's the real answer. Okay, more questions for me, guys. Hit me up with the questions. Yeah, the, the hit me up with these questions. I got another one from Elisa here. What's up, Carla? Lou says, I'm doing a 30-day video challenge next week and I need ideas for my videos. Awesome. Yes, I love that you're doing the video challenge. Lou, are you in our program? We give you the templates for how to do it. But uh, a great, you know, great.